West Indies, having so shamelessly bowed to defeat <laughs> by some 300 and odd runs after being bowled out for an even 100 in pursuit of 419 in the first test match against India. And guess what? They are now heading to Sabina Park in Jamaica for the second test starting on Friday. <laughs> and after such a gutless defeat, we wonder how many Jamaican cricket fans will turn out at Sabina to watch India go out with eye again. <laughs> you remember that man and him dog who always watched test match cricket at Sabina Park? Me and said the dog get wicked. <laughs> If no one wants to buy that, and if no one wants to buy this, yes, 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 yes. The dog no one run away. <laughs> but the question is, after this disaster, heading to Sabina Park, is it too late to include the universe boss, Chris Gale, for that grand send-off he's been asking for? I mean, this team is so worthless overall. Chris Gale playing a one-off game would be neither here nor there to the fortunes of the team or to West Indies cricket. And after such a battering in the first test, knowing the recent history of test match crowds at Sabina, then better work with the Chris Gale set off <laughs> and try and get a two or three hundred people inside Sabina. Otherwise, you remember the man who did that work? <laughs> I think the man, he better stay with me now. <laughs> no, no, manly, happily, ever after. No cricket, no West Indies. <laughs>